My name is Naoto Ando, 28 years old. On an ordinary day off, I was walking down the shopping street in my neighborhood. What should I have for dinner tonight? <laughs> huh? What is it? I heard a little girl's crying voice. I looked around and found a girl crying in the back alley, hidden from the public eye. Is she lost? I couldn't leave her alone, so I decided to talk to her, choosing my words carefully so as not to scare her. Um, are you okay, princess? P princess I'm princess Oh, I guess that worked. What's wrong? Are you lost? I came here to buy a present for mom, but I dropped my wallet. I see. Were you looking for it alone? After calming down the girl, who calls herself Yuki, I listened to her story. She was on her way to her flower shop with the money she saved up by helping her mother, but she dropped her wallet. It would be easier for me to pay for the flowers for her, but surely that wouldn't satisfy her. I'm sure the kind Yuki-chan wanted to buy a Mother's Day gift herself. I once prepared a Mother's Day gift in the same way when I was little too. Those memories of long ago came back to me, and I decided to look for her wallet together. Uh, there it is! I found it! That's good! I'm glad! Yeah! Thank you, Oni-san! Uh, no! <laughs> the prince? Uh, that's embarrassing! Remembering my embarrassing line from earlier, I'm even more embarrassed now! And somehow, Yukichan pulled me along to the flower shop. Yeah, a set of cat mascots and flowers, huh? It's very cute indeed! The product Yuki-chan found seemed to be on sale just in time for Mother's Day. Uh, what's wrong, Yuki-chan? Her eyes were sparkling until a moment ago, but she looks down now. I... I only have 500 yen. I can't buy this. Oh, so that's why you were depressed. Well then, how about this? I'll buy that set, so you go buy a flower. What? I also wanted to buy flowers for Mother's Day, so why don't we buy them together? And how about we get one cat mascot each? I would have been fine with just the flowers, but Yuki looked sorry, so I decided to offer to split it with her. Here, I'll give this to my mom, so you give this to your mom too, okay? Yeah, thank you! I hope your mom will be happy. Looking at her genuinely caring for her mother made me realize how much I should appreciate my mother once again. On Monday, I was walking down the street to go to work, and... Ah! It's the prince! yuki chan Yuki, whom I met a few days ago, came running up to me. Good morning, we meet again. Are you going to school now? Yeah! Oh, you know what? I gave mom a present yesterday. She was so happy! I see. I'm so happy for you. Yuki, you can't go running off. Uh, and Okun? Mizukawa, uh, why are you here? Mommy? Mommy? She's definitely Saki Mizukawa, a beautiful colleague of mine whom I know very well. She's extremely popular in the office, but... What? No way. Yuki's mom was Mizukawa? Oh, I see. Yuki-chan's prince, huh? I'm glad you can meet him again. Yeah! I love my prince! Prince, huh? Uh, Mizukawa, there's a good reason for this. Let me explain the details. <laughs> yes, I'd like to hear the details. Oh, this is so embarrassing. If I had known that Yuki-chan was Mizukawa's daughter, I wouldn't have called Yuki-chan princess. I have to explain to Mizukawa very well and make sure she doesn't think I'm a creep. With that in mind, I headed straight to work. I decided to have a quick lunch at a cafe near the office to talk with Mizukawa, but I was having a hard time deciding where to start. Where should I start talking about it? Then I explained in order what had happened that day. Mizukawa got a little teary during the story, which made me worry, but I was able to tell her the entire story. I see. So that's why you're the prince, huh? Well, I see. You deserve to be called that. Oh, come on. 
I never wanted her to call me Prince. Prince. <laughs> hey. I thought you had a creepy hobby of making little girls call you their prince. Of course not. Oh, please don't yell at me, my prince. That was kind of cute, so stop it. <laughs> oh, but I am glad. I can't believe Yuki worked so hard for me like that. She's a very sweet girl. You know, I'm very grateful for my mom for raising me by herself since I didn't have a dad. Uh. So, seeing her made me want to thank my mom again. I sent her flowers for the first time in a few years. She was so happy. I'm glad I met Yuki-chan that day. Oh, you know. Actually, I'm a single mother too. Oh yeah? I had no idea, let alone the fact that she had a child. I'm really grateful to you for helping Yuki, and it seems that Yuki has grown fond of you. Um, so, will you let me thank you properly? Why don't you come over for dinner tonight? I'm sure Yuki will be happy. It was an unexpected offer, but I gratefully accepted it. I wonder if I'm crazy for feeling a little nervous at the thought of Mizukawa preparing dinner for me. Prince, you really came! Whoa, y yuki chan <laughs> Good evening. My prince, we've been waiting for you. Uh, Mizukawa, yours is different. I sense that you're just teasing me. Oh, you saw through me, huh? Well, thanks to the funny way of welcoming me, I wasn't nervous anymore. Here, Naoto! Open your mouth! What? You're gonna feed me? That's right! Even princes like this, right? Um, I'm not a prince, so I don't know, but I guess? It's delicious. Thank you, Yuki-chan. <laughs> hmm... Mizukawa, why do you look sulky? It's nothing. I just put a bit too much food in my mouth. Oh, uh, okay. Eat slowly. Open your mouth. Uh, hey, Mizkoa? What is it? You don't like it when I do this? Well, it's not like that, but... For some reason, Mizkoa looked very unhappy and started to try to feed me. And so, I had a good time receiving mysterious doting from the two of them. Since then, I started talking to Mizukawa more and more at work too. She used to be hard to approach because she's too beautiful, but she's actually a very friendly person. She often helped me with my work, and her presence was growing bigger in my life. One day, she happened to be nearby and tripped over, and I quickly reached out to her. Oh, watch out! Sorry! Are you okay? You don't look well. Well, I've been a little tired lately. You should get some rest. I'll talk to the manager. Thank you, Andokun. I took Mizuka to the break room and asked her to take some water, and she told me the cause of her ailment. As a single mother, I feel I have to work harder for Yuki's future. So recently I started a part-time job. Oh, of course I got permission from the company. I told the company about my situation and they said it's fine as long as it doesn't interfere with my work. Ugh, I don't have time to be sick. Mizukawa tearfully told me. I didn't realize she was working so hard. Mizukawa was always smiling and doing her job without complaining. So I had no idea she was struggling so hard as a single mother. I'm sure the rest of my co-workers are the same. Why didn't I notice that she was working so hard until she got sick? Since then, I started going to Mizukawa's place whenever I finished work early to help Yuki-chan with her homework and play with her. I hope this will reduce Mizukawa's burden a little. At first, that was my intention, but gradually, I started to feel that the time I spent with Mizukawa and Yuki-chan was something special for me. One day off, Mizukawa had to go to her part-time job, and I was taking care of Yuki. Good luck with your work, Mom! Take care, Mizukawa. Thank you both. Yuki, I'm sorry I have to go, okay? Have a lot of fun today. And Okun, thank you so much. Please take care of Yuki. Oh, don't worry about it. S see you later. Uh, yeah, yeah. See you later. 
This is making me blush. I saw Mizukawa off like a real couple. Then I brought Yuki-chan with me to the amusement park. No, Tell, I don't want to go on that ride. Okay, but you don't have to rush so much. While I was walking hand in hand with Yuki, who was enjoying herself. Uh -huh. Huh? Yuki-chan? Her sudden quietness bothered me. And when I looked at the direction she was looking at, there was a girl who was riding on her father's shoulders. I wonder if she's jealous. She must be. There was a time when I was jealous of my friends who played catch with their fathers too. As I thought that... Yuk-chan, stay still for a moment, okay? Ah, wow, so high! Can you see things better now? Her happy voice came down from above my head. I was happy to see that she was pleased and kept walking. <laughs> I wish you were my dad, Naruto. Yuki-chan? I heard such a faint voice, almost drowned out by the joyful bustle around us. It was definitely Yuki-chan's voice, and her voice sounded like it was trembling. Then on another day, I happened to pass by Mizukawa making a phone call at the office. She seems to be in a hurry for something. I'm really sorry. Yes? Yes, what? Tomorrow? Uh, okay. Then I decided to call out to her after she finished the call. Uh, what's wrong? Are you alright? Uh, Andokun. What should I do? It seems I made a terrible mistake at my part-time job, so I was asked to come to work tomorrow. Oh, I see. Tomorrow? It's Yuki's class observation day, and I promised to go. Yuki looks so happy. M Miss Kawa, calm down. I'm sure she's been holding a lot of things in her heart, and suddenly, her thoughts and tears came pouring out like a dam. Miss Kawa, if you don't mind, I can't do your part-time job, but I can go to the class visit. Really? I'm sure Yuki would be happy if you went. Thank you, Andokun. I'm gonna go check on Yuki-chan properly. I'm sure you wanted to see her yourself, but don't worry. So Mizukawa called the school, explained the situation, and asked permission for me, a stranger, to visit the class. The school agreed to it, and I was to go to Yuki-chan's class tomorrow instead of Mizukawa. Whoa, it's been years since I've been in a school. It's so nostalgic. I head to Yuki-chan's class feeling nostalgic. But Ms. Kawa called me this morning to tell me that she couldn't tell Yuki-chan about her not coming. Yuki-chan, I wonder if she won't be disappointed if I come instead. Mom, she said she would come today. Why isn't she here? Work, maybe. But we made a promise. Mom is stupid! I had no way of knowing that Yuki-chan was thinking that way. And just at that time, I was... Oh man, I'm getting nervous. What the heck? Am I a transfer student or something? I enter the classroom, being nervous like a transfer student. I see a lot of parents are here. Uh, Yuki-chan... Oh, there she is. Ah, uh, she looks surprised after all. I imagine how Yuki-chan was feeling, and for a moment, I wondered if I shouldn't have come, but... <gasps> Yuki-chan smiled at me and waved her hand, and I felt relieved. Thank goodness, Yuki-chan looks happy. I'm glad I came. I waved back, and after seeing that, Yuki-chan faced forward. Naoto, thank you for coming today. Yuki-chan, you studied really hard. <laughs> I was able to do my best because my prince was watching over me. Whoa, it's been a while since you called me a prince. My friends asked me about Naoto too! When I told them that he's my prince, they were all jealous! You you said that to everyone? Yuki! Mom! As we were approaching home, Mizukawa came running from across the street. I'm sorry, Yuki. I promised you to come, but I had to go to work. I'm really sorry. Mom, don't apologize. I wanted you to see it too, but I was really happy that Naoto came! Mizukawa, Yuki-chan did a great job. She raised her hand to make a presentation and read aloud. She gets along well with her friends too. Andokun, 
Thank you so much. I'm so happy to hear that. Mizukawa thanked me and started telling me her story, quietly. It seems her ex, or Yuki's father, told Mizukawa that she's too clingy. When he found out she was pregnant, he said such horrible words and broke up with her. She asked him to at least legally acknowledge the baby as his child, but he wouldn't listen to her. So he never even paid child support, and she even lost touch with him. That's why Yuki doesn't know who her father is. But I didn't want her to feel lonely because of that. I didn't want her to have to endure any hardships or anything. So I've been trying my best until today, but... I'm still as clumsy as ever, and there are many things I couldn't do well. The love I used to have for my ex has grown bigger and is directed only at Yuki. And may have been a burden on her, though. I don't think so. You simply care a lot about Yuki-chan. Aww. You are the first person to say such kind words to me. And Okun, since the day you saved Yuki, you've helped us a lot. Somewhere along the way, I started to take you for granted, and I started to think that I was okay because you're there for me. I love you, Ando kun for loving Yuki and looking out for me. Mi Mizukawa... Ando kun I want you to become our family. From now on, I want you to be by our side as a real family. Naoto! No, my prince! Thank you so much for coming today! I also feel the same way. I want you to be my dad. Yuki-chan. Yeah, thanks. I want to be your daddy too, Yuki. I then offered her one of the same cat mascots from that day. I had bought it before I went to the class visit. Can you take this? Oh, this is... it's the one I gave to mom! I bought it at that flower shop again. I thought if we are going to be a family, we should all have the same one. I was blushing as Yuki-chan called me dad, and I turned towards Mizukawa, who was waiting for my reply. Saki, I'd love to become a family with you. R really Of course. I was gonna tell you my feelings today anyway. I love you too, Saki. The way you worked so hard for Yuki-chan, since some time ago, I was attracted to you. From now on, as a family, I wanna protect you both. Happy to hear that. Thus, I became their family. Now that I became their family, Saki was able to quit her part-time job and could spend more time with Yuki-chan. When I saved the girl that day, I never thought this would happen. You never know how life will turn out. Yuki-chan and I have never had a father in our lives, but from now on, we will slowly become a father and a daughter together. And with the loving Saki too, we will become one whole family.